If we in a culture now where, you know, artists diss the dead. That's the culture we in now. Somebody dies. People like to talk about it. They like to make fun of it. Where do you stand when we talk about that, where we are as a culture right now in hip-hop? When it yeah, comes I don't to this? like it. I don't like it. Me growing up, it might be 20 people in one clique, and you'd be lucky one person had a deuce-deuce. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then these rappers is just these rappers is taking each other lives and just dissing, dissing each other and all that. Ain't no coming back for them people's family. Mm. You know, ain't no coming back from that, you know, them people kids. So, you know, the new generation, you know, us uh rapping, you know, and the way people live and the culture that we up against right now and living in, uh I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not liking it. Everybody got to walk around with a gun, you know. Everybody stepping and sliding. And, yeah. You know. Just where we in now. You know, people, people, you know, people see a dead body or hear about somebody getting killed, post them for a little bit, we'll put, put their face on the shirt, you know, go on about their business. Then you might hear the, uh, you might hear the opposition putting their song they name in a rap. Yeah. A month, two months later. You know, I never been a fan of that, that type of situation. Got you. Because as we all know, and it just is public information is an elephant in a room, but like, you know, Trap Boy dropped two songs. Um, One, you know what I'm saying, he was kind of telling his side of the story and the people he lost. And then he dropped another one. Um, um, what it's called? Um, mm-hmm. You gonna find out? I can't think of the name of the actual title song. I don't listen to that type of music. But, um, and a lot of people was on Trap Boy, like, oh man, he doing all of this. He talking on on Mo Three because Mo Three gone. But if quote unquote and hypothetically and allegedly Mo Three did all these things on that side, can you not blame a person for having that type of stance? Mm. Man, you should have went out there and fought. Or Mo3 approach you. You know, you should have had a nice little backyard one on one fight. You know, everybody shook hands and went about their day. Mm. You know, let's start up. You know, like 3 said, I could. I won't argue with because they started it. Hmm. You know, they just had, just had a little one-on-one fight. You know. That's the bottom line of the situation. It's a lot of parties in between that I, that was, was going back and forth with each, with them. I'm cool with you now. Oh, you just dropped a hot-ass song? I'm cool with you now. Oh, you can't go out of town? You out of town and, 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 and kicking it? Are y'all doing the big over there? I'm kicking it with you now. Hmm. They should have just stay up. Piles. Come on, y'all. Let's go get in this room. But it felt like there's no doubt in my mind that if the table was turned and something had happened to the other side and Mo3 was here, he wouldn't have been he would have been doing the same thing that Trap Boy was doing. No, nah, you just no. You should have went out there and fought. Gotcha. You know. And uh you can wake three up out of his sleep and say, hey, uh, they want to come holler at you, look at you. I'm on my way. You know? Mm. You never should have got to this point when it's just a little backyard scrabble. Could have resolved the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Just straight up, like. So with that saying, like, with so many parties um, getting in between, rumor has it that, in the midst of the beef, be you know what I'm saying, before Mo3 passed away, that Jay Prince himself actually pulled up to Mo3's spot and tried to help resolve that beef. Mm, I wasn't there, so I can't. Okay. I, I wasn't there. Gotcha. Yeah. 